Hi friends, and welcome to your daily devotional for Friday, April 16th, 2021. This week we have been talking about joy. This past year has been difficult, but there has been a lot of joy as well. In the next few moments, I invite you to reflect on how you can find joy even when things aren't so great. Our word from the psalmist today is Psalm 4 from the New International Version. Listen now for God's word to us. Answer me when I call to you, my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you people turn my glory into shame? How long will you love delusions and seek false gods? Know that the Lord has set apart his faithful servant for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Tremble and do not sin. When you are on your beds, search your hearts and be silent. Offer the sacrifices of the righteous and trust in the Lord. Many, Lord, are asking, who will bring us prosperity? Let the light of your face shine on us. Fill my heart with joy when their grain and new wine abound. In peace, I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, the strength of those who believe and the hope of those who doubt, may we who have not seen have faith and receive the fullness of Christ's blessing, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the prophet Daniel. Chapter 10, verses 2 through 19 from the Common English Bible. Listen for God's word. During that time, I, Daniel, had been mourning for three weeks. I didn't eat any rich foods, neither meat nor wine passed my lips, and I didn't clean up at all until the three weeks were up. Then, on the 24th day of the first month, as I was on the bank of the great Tigris River, I looked up and suddenly saw a man clothed in linen in front of me. He had a brilliant gold belt around his waist, and his body was like topaz. His face was like a flash of lightning, and his eyes were like burning torches. His arms and feet looked like polished bronze. When he spoke, it sounded like the roar of a crowd. Only I, Daniel, saw this vision. The other people who were with me didn't see it. Despite that, they were terrified and ran away to hide. So I was left alone to see this great vision all by myself. All my strength left me. My energy was sapped and I couldn't stay strong. Then I heard the sound of the man's words. When I heard it, I fell into a trance with my face on the ground. But then a hand touched me, lifting me up to my hands and knees. The man said to me, Daniel, you are greatly treasured. Now grasp the meaning of what I'm saying to you and stand up because I've been sent to you. As he said this to me, I stood up shaking. Then the man said to me, don't be afraid, Daniel. 
because from the day you first set your mind to understand things and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard. I've come because of your words. For 21 days, the leader of the Persian kingdom blocked my way. But then Michael, one of the highest leaders, came to help me. I left Michael there with the leader of the Persian kingdom. But I've come to help you understand what will happen to your people in the future. Because there is another vision concerning that time. While he said this to me, I turned my face to the ground and kept quiet. But then, someone who looked like a human being touched my lips. Then I opened my mouth and spoke, saying to the person standing in front of me, My Lord, the vision bothered me deeply, and I couldn't stay strong during it. So how can I, my Lord's servant, speak with you, my Lord? Even now, there's no strength in me, and I can barely breathe. The one who looked like a human being touched me again and gave me strength. He said, don't be afraid. You are greatly treasured. All will be well with you. Be strong. As he spoke to me, I suddenly felt strong. Then I said, my Lord can go on because you've made me strong. Daniel gives us a glimpse here of the behind the scenes working of the heavenly beings. What is your understanding of angels and all of the Lord's messengers? Our New Testament reading today comes from 1 John chapter 2, verses 26 through 28 from the Message Bible. Listen again for God's word to us. I've written to warn you about those who are trying to deceive you, but they're no match for what is embedded deeply within you, Christ's anointing no less. You don't need any of their so-called teaching. Christ's anointing teaches you the truth on everything you need to know about yourself and him, uncontaminated by a single lie. Live deeply in what you were taught. And now, children, stay with Christ. Live deeply in Christ. Then we'll be ready for him when he appears, ready to receive him with open arms, with no cause for red-faced guilt or lame excuses when he arrives. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. It says here that Christ's anointing is embedded deep within us. What does that mean to you? Let us pray. Eternal God of unchanging power and light, look with mercy on your whole church. Bring to completion your saving work so that the whole world may see the fallen lifted up, the old made new, and all things brought to perfection by him through whom all things are made, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, may God's extravagant love consume you. Christ's life and passion inspire you, and the Spirit compel you to do ordinary things with extraordinary love. Go in peace and stay well. I'll see you tomorrow.